this is the problem with loyalists. Welcome to Unifier.tv, where truth has no fear. I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going right after all the conservative folks who decided to Trump bash and turn their back on Trump because he is again promoting this vaccine. And then we developed a vaccine, three vaccines in three months, in nine months. And actually, I'll tell you, it was three days less, three days less than nine months. And it's great. And you know what? I believe totally in your freedoms. I do. You got to do what you have to do. But I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccines. But you got no, that's OK. That's all right. You got your freedoms. But I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know. Now, am I going to come off and say Trump can never do wrong? Never. No, I'm never. I'm not saying that because that's not how I feel. He is not beyond error because he is a fleshly being. Am I saying that he sold us out? I'm not saying that either. What I am simply saying is, if you're going to be a loyalist to a fault, you have failed yourself. You cannot put so much stock into one person, two people, anybody, and the second they say something that you don't understand or something you disagree with or you seem to be shady, All of a sudden, your whole life is just crushed. You feel like you've just been duped and lied to and screwed over. You cannot put that much stock into any fleshly being. I don't care who it is, especially someone that you don't know personally. Now, have we developed, some of us, a certain trust for Trump and people like DeSantis and the people that we see, you know, in the trenches for the American people? Yeah, you can. It's natural. You can build some trust in people. However, You can fail yourself and you can definitely go down the wrong path if you put too much trust in people to the point where simple statements or something that you just don't understand would send you off the deep end. And then these people, these conservatives coming out saying, I knew it. I knew it the whole time. I knew he was shady. If you knew it, then why'd you why'd you bother trusting him at all? If you already knew it, you fooled yourself. The point is, I don't think he's shady. I'm not saying he's perfect. I'm not saying he didn't get bought. I'm not saying he did. I'm actually very neutral because I don't care. Why don't I care? Because my full trust is in God. Trump can turn around right now and say, joke's on you guys. Ha ha, I told you I was a good actor. What would that do to me? Would have pissed me off a little bit. Yeah, because I don't like being lied to. But would it crush my life? Definitely not. Because even if we had two Bidens in office, which is what we would have if Trump said he lied to us, that means we, we have no one fighting for us, basically, because all the people that are in the trenches now are following his influence. So if he were to say jokes on you guys, I'm not going to help anybody. I'm never coming back. God is still in heaven. He's still there. God didn't turn around and say, I was just playing. So we have to get our focus in the right place. Stop focusing on fleshly beings. Yes, God puts fleshly beings here to do his will because Jesus already did his part. He's not coming back to do more work. He's already done. Next time he comes back, he's taking people with him. My point is get your focus on God and not man. That way, when certain people come out, like when DeSantis talked about the vaccine, when people thought that, that Matt Gates was a pervert, when people thought that, that, uh, that really Giuliani, Giuliani screwed Trump over, like, People just are so ready to be disappointed that any little thing just sets them off. There's one person that will never disappoint you or make you feel like you ever will be disappointed, and that's God. Put your trust in him and just live life. I mean, that's the the best thing you could do. So if you would do your own research and pay attention to what's going on in the news, Rochelle, Rochelle Walensky just pulled the trifecta. A few months ago, she was on the Senate floor, I think it was the Senate floor, talking to a gentleman and said out of her own mouth that the mandates from the CDC are not law. They are. And then got on an airplane without a COVID test. Does that violate CDC guidance? This is guidance. It's not law, but these are the recommendations. Oh. They are only recommendations. I posted a video about it. She said it herself. So she comes out again and says 
that the vaccines will not prevent COVID from spreading. Um, our vaccines are working exceptionally well. They continue to work well for Delta with regard to severe illness and death. They prevent it. But what they can't do anymore is prevent transmission. Then she comes out again and says that there's no need for the booster. And then two weeks later, which would have been a week later from today, I'm sorry, a week from a week prior to today, she comes out and says that the boosters are needed. And she's basing this off of facts from June and July. But two weeks ago, you said we didn't need it. So if you're basing this off of facts that are two months old, how did you apparently find new facts to make you feel like we need the boosters after two weeks of saying we don't? And these facts are already two months old. They're Three points are now very clear. First, vaccine-induced protection against SARS-CoV-2 infection begins to decrease over time. Second, vaccine effectiveness against severe disease, hospitalization, and death remains relatively high. And third, vaccine effectiveness is generally de decreased against the Delta oh, variant. They're playing games. Pay attention to what they're saying and trust God for discernment as opposed to putting all your stock in Trump, all your stock in DeSantis, all your stock into Lynn Wood, all your stock into Marjorie Taylor Greene. These are good people. Do I believe God put these people here to get his will done? Yes, I do. But I'm not putting my soul trust in man. You set yourself up for failure doing that. So you, you have to get your focus in order because you cannot fall apart every time somebody makes a simple statement.